After testing so many custom ROMs, finally I got the best competitor against the best performer, the Nitrogen Oise. Hello everyone, hope you all are doing well and this is a full review of the latest build of Cardinal AOSP. Let's get started. Before getting into the video, if you are first time here and it's your passion to tweak your smartphone, make sure you hit that subscribe button and press the bell notification icon so that you won't miss an update from us. Today I am going to review the latest most elegant Cardinal AOSP ROM based on Android 8.1.0 Oreo. If you want to flash this ROM, you need to have an unlock bootloader and a custom recovery pre-installed. But first you need to download the ROM file and the gapps file. I have provided all the links down below in the description box, so do check out that. And keep it in your phone, now boot to recovery by pressing the volume up and power button until you see the MI logo. Let's check out the installation process. Before wiping everything, I highly recommend you to take the backup of your current OS and data. Once you backed up everything, go to wipe, then advanced wipe, select everything except internal storage and micro SD, now swipe to wipe. Now choose the ROM file and the JAPS file. Now swipe to confirm flash. Flashing will take around 2 to 4 minutes, so be patient until the process is done. I highly recommend you to use the latest Red Bull recovery as your custom recovery so that you will not get any errors while installation. Now the ROM has booted up. Let's see what we have. Let's see what we are getting in this ROM. Despite of being an AOSP ROM, this ROM has some useful features and customizations. So don't forget to watch the video until the end cuz I'm sure going to show you the benchmarks and battery life which I got from this ROM. We are getting the pixel launcher as the default launcher with all the pixel features just like the notification dots and adaptive icons etc. This ROM is not rooted so if you do want root access you need to flash magic or super as you. Let's see what we are getting in this ROM. Some of you might ask me why did you choose this ROM on behalf of all Oreo ROMs out there. It's all because of the custom kernel, it does bring great performance and efficient battery life. Going into the settings menu about phone section, as you guys can see, you are getting the latest Android 8.1.0 Oreo with the latest Android security patch, powered by the best Lineage kernel.
Now let's talk about features. All the magic happens in a tab called Wings, where all the features and customizations are organized properly. Inside the Wings tab, you are getting the status bar customizations, navigation bar customizations, double tap to sleep, double tap to wake, battery icon customization, network traffic toggle, quick setting customizations, toggle for swapping keys in navigation bar and some lock screen and recent customizations too. The camera is also outstanding in this ROM. You are getting the 4K Ultra HD video recording in this ROM. Talking about battery life, this ROM has some crazy battery life when considering the performance that it provides. I almost got 7 hours of screen on time on normal usage with this ROM. The screen on time and the idle time of this ROM is really incredible. As I told you earlier, this ROM is powered by the best powerful and efficient Lineage OS kernel. It has some pretty good performance and battery life. It has good gaming experience good day-to-day -day app usage and no app force closes, no frame drops, no random reboot, etc. Magis, Substratum, Exposed are working just fine in this ROM. On Geekbench, I got this score. On Android 2, I got this score. With all the features and customizations, performance, stability and good battery life, I'll give this from 9.9 .9 out of 10. And that's all for today guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do enjoy watching this video, don't forget to leave a like. So see you guys in the next video.